So you're in um, TD Snap and you're working with Core First and you've made some edits and some personalizations that you believe another student could benefit from or let's say you want to share it with the private SLP or somebody else who has a My Toby Dynavox um, account. So it is very, very easy to share things remotely. This app is very, very well set up for that. So this is how you do it. But you do have to make sure that they have a My Toby Dynavox account first um, and you need their email that is on that account. Otherwise, this will not work. So if you're ready to do this, you go up to the top right hand corner where the pencil is with the gear behind it. And so now you're in edit mode. So you go to the bottom line and remember right on the bottom left hand corner, there are two um, arrows pointing up that will bring the dashboard up and make it a little bigger for you. Um, this time you want to go to the middle button that says page set. And so um, again, this is George's page set. Let's say you have, um, you want to share this with George's private speech therapist. Um, you're going to want to click on the page set itself. So like, let's say you named it something, but for me, it's just core first. So I'm clicking on it right now. It's highlighted. So now you'll see that you have um, two options to create a page set or to download a page set. Um, those two you want to ignore. Um, if you want to download someone's page set, that is where you would go. Um, if you want to share someone's page, if you want to share this page set, um, you would go um, along the line that says core first. There is a little pencil, a little save cartridge, and a little box with an arrow pointing outside of it. That is how you share something. You're going to want to send a copy, which I'm clicking on right now. And so this box will pop up. You want to name it something. Usually I name it the child's name with the date, because if you ever send them more than one, then they'll know which one is the newest. So you can put the date. And so then you click next. And I don't know what just happened. So let's say I did that again and I put George That should pop up. I guess it didn't pop up before, like I clicked something else. So my Toby Dynavox user, you're going to want to search someone's email. So you'll see that there are people I've sent stuff to in the past. So those are going to pop up first. So let's pretend that this is his um, private SLP. And so it takes a minute to add it. Um, and then all you'd have to do is click share. And it's going to go all the way, but I'm not going to share it with this person. So I'm just going to click cancel. But if you let it share, it'll send it to them. And then you will be all set and you just shared a page set. And then you click done in the top right hand corner and you are back.